So in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about dose and why I stress so much about dose on all of my platforms is because it's the most important thing when it comes to using cannabis, especially for the first time. So I went on a six year hiatus off of cannabis because I had a very bad experience. I started to get anxiety. I was smoking cannabis, which is not a method that I recommend, especially as a new user of cannabis, because it's quite potent and it's difficult to get the dose right. And so I developed really bad anxiety. So I quit and I went off of cannabis for six years. And during that time, I had my children and my I had some difficult births and that left me with pain and other issues that was really affecting uh, my life, especially my sex life with my husband. So what I did with the help of my husband and a naturopathic doctor at the time who specialized in cannabis is I used a dryer vaporizer on a low temperature and I used a low dose cannabis strain or cultivar. And when I was vaporized that on a low temperature, I was able to enjoy sex with my husband. Oh, and it was like, uh, I called it velvet vagina. And you can read all about that over on my blog. That's a different thing. But what I really discovered was that I felt no anxiety. I didn't even really feel high. But the benefits that I got from using cannabis in that small dose was enough to be absolutely life-changing for me. So this is why my whole platform is about teaching, about cannabis, about dose, especially because dose is very, very important, especially for women. And I'm going to get into that as well. All right. So when it comes to cannabis, there are a few different methods that you can use and each one is going to have different dosing. So we're going to talk about inhalation, which is both smoking and dry air vaporizing, but you can also inhale concentrates. So I'm going to talk about that as well. I'm going to talk about edibles or ingesting cannabis and topicals as well. And for each one, I'm going to go over CBD. If THC just isn't your thing, uh, I'm also going to talk about dosing for CBD as well. And stick around to the very end because I'm going to talk about dose layering. This is a a lovely little trick that you can use once you've established your dose and, and you really want to get that feel for several hours. I've got a trick for that as well. So stick around. Okay, so now let's talk about dosing for inhalation. So there's technically three uh, different types of inhalation methods that you can use with cannabis. There's smoking, dry herb vaporizing, and inhaling concentrates like a vape pen. So smoking you're all familiar with. It's basically using a bong or a joint or a pipe and you light the cannabis on fire and you inhale the smoke. Next is dry herb vaporizing. This is a device that heats up the cannabis to a temperature below combustion. So you're never inhaling smoke, you're instead inhaling a vapor. So you can either get a dry herb vaporizer. So instead of grinding up the cannabis flower and putting it into a joint or a bong, you would put it into a dry herb vaporizer, a device like this. So the other kind of vaporizing you can do is with concentrates. So this would be a vape pen. This is the shatterizer and you would inhale a concentrated oil in the top. You can also inhale other things like wax or shatter and other kinds of concentrates. Now when it comes to smoking, I don't recommend it. I also don't recommend concentrates for the first time. You want to figure out what is going to be your dose? What methods can be good for you? And those methods can be really strong and very difficult to control. Plus smoking is, has a lot of toxins in it. You're basically inhaling smoke. It has a lot of tar. Dryer vaporizing reduces those toxins and it also allows you to turn down the temperature so that you can get less cannabis, less of the cannabinoids in there, and you can control how much you're getting better than other methods. But when it comes to using dry herb, whether you're putting it in a joint or in a vaporizer, you want to find a strain or cultivar as it's called under 10% THC and go for one that's high in CBD. So you're looking at 5% or more. Most cultivars that are under 10% in THC are usually high in CBD. You can get many different cultivars that are really low, like 5% in THC and like 10% in CBD. I highly recommend finding a two to one like that. That'll be a really nice cultivar to start with because you're getting a nice low dose and a nice good dose of CBD to help counteract some of the THC side effects and it'll just feel better. So if you're looking at something like a vape 
pen, you're going to want to look at something with a low amount of THC and a high amount of CBD that is in that as well. So look for something that's under 30% THC. Yeah, the lower the better, basically. And you go into a cannabis store, you can ask the bud tender there what's a really good low dose a vape pen to start with, with a high CBD, so that you can try cannabis in that way. But I don't recommend concentrates because even low dose can really hit hard in some people. If you're going to inhale, I highly recommend a dry herb vaporizer. I know dry herb vaporizers are expensive and there's a lot to shell out on that when you're first starting out. But if you're going to inhale, I highly recommend using that method first. If you can't find somebody who can lend you a vaporizer so you can try it, then you can try, you know, a low dose vape pen, but you really want to go for a very low dose because like I said, they're concentrates and they hit pretty strong. But overall, when it comes to inhalation methods, when you're starting out, dryer vaporizing is where it's at. Now you can also find CBD pens and dry herb that is CBD only. Just look for the percentages when you go into the cannabis store. You can just ask the bud tender to show you options that are CBD only without any THC so you can enjoy inhaling the cannabis and you won't get hot. All right, so the second method we're going to talk about is ingesting. This is probably one of the more popular methods because a lot of people don't want to inhale any kind of smoke or vapor or anything, which is perfectly understandable. But when it comes to edibles, you've really got to be careful. Edibles are long lasting and they can take a while to really fully kick in. Depending on the dose and depending on you and a lot of different factors, on average, edibles kick in anywhere from one to two hours and they can last four to six hours or more. Now there are a variety of different edibles that you can take. There's oils, there's capsules, there's food products, there's beverages, there's dry mixers that you can put into things sprays, lozenges, there's a lot to choose from. So it's fun to kind of try around and see. The most important thing, as I said, is dose. So regardless of those methods, dose is what matters. For edibles, when you're first starting out, 2.5 to 5 milligrams. That's your first dose. And so if you are somebody who is prone to anxiety, I would err closer to 2.5 milligrams, 2 to 2.5 milligrams. If you don't have any problems with anxiety and that's just not something that you're worried about, you can try five milligrams, but I would stay there first dose. And if you don't feel anything, now again, it takes two hours <laughs> for it to fully kick in. And I don't recommend that you take more until the first dose is worn off. Like maybe the next day or wait for four hours or so and then try again. Otherwise you're, you're going to be layering the doses, which I'll talk about a bit later, and you're not going to really know how much your dose is. So we're trying to figure out what your first dose is and what you want to start with. So you have a good experience, err on the side of caution and take 2.5 to 5 milligrams because edibles are long lasting and they can hit differently. Now there's another kind of edible that you can use and it's called fast acting edibles. Fast acting edibles wear off more like inhalation. So they'll start to work in about 15 minutes and last about an hour, depending. Sometimes for me, I've tried fast acting edibles and they took about an hour to really kick in and lasted about an hour and a half. So it all depends on your own body. But in general, fast acting edibles will kick in in, like I said, 15 minutes and last about an hour. Fast acting edibles are anything that's water soluble. So if you're looking at beverages, they're all pretty much fast acting. Alcohol tinctures, the ones you kind of put under your tongue, sublingual, sublingual, <laughs> never can say that word. Yes, under the tongue, that's more fast acting, goes into your bloodstream, bypasses the liver. And any kind of water-based drops or fast acting edibles that say they're fast acting. And sometimes here in Canada, they won't actually say that, but what they will call themselves is quick or rapid, or fast or express. So any of those uh, words that you see on an edible, for example, want a quick is one of them, then you'll know that it's a fast acting edible. And even with fast acting edibles, don't take more than five milligrams on your first dose. Now with fast acting edibles, because they wear off quicker, then you can try again in about an hour. If you didn't feel it, I would go up. I would go up about two to five milligrams at a time, but be careful. My dose is 7.5 milligrams and sometimes 10 can be a little bit too high for me. And that's only a 2.5 milligram difference. So be mindful when you're using it again, 
because usually you'll come somewhere in between, but if you really didn't feel anything at all the first time, you might want to double the dose for the second time. Now with CBD and ingestion methods, you can go high because CBD does not get you high. Therefore, you can go in a higher dose. It's tolerated quite well in high doses. And if you look at any of the clinical trials, scientific studies that you read online, they're usually using really high doses of CBD. We're talking 300 plus milligrams. So don't be shy. You can go ahead and try 50, 100 milligrams if you want to. But in general, I recommend about 20 to 25 milligrams. See how it makes you feel. You want to use it for a week. You want to use it every day. CBD is good when it's used every day, more like a supplement. And if that isn't really working for you, start upping your dose. Most people in general find a nice therapeutic dose with CBD to be about 50 to 60 milligrams per day. So another important thing to consider as a woman is that THC is going to feel differently throughout the month. And I'm going to give you an example. Recently, I had a, a pretty bad menstrual cycle and I was taking THC and I was using and didn't feel anything. Then once my cycle finished and my estrogen started going back up again, I took a 7.5 milligram edible and I was so high, like uncomfortably high. <laughs> it really got me seeing just how much estrogen plays a role in how THC feels in women. So estrogen can make you more sensitive to THC. This is why I recommend keeping a cannabis journal where you write down how cannabis makes you feel. You write down all the different properties of the product that you're buying, the terpenes and the cannabinoids and things, and how it made you feel, how much did you take, and what time of the month. So then you can start to see patterns over time and you can know, okay, this is when my estrogen's going up. I'm going to have to slow down a little bit on the THC. So that'll give you a better idea uh, and help you to control your dose because it can take you uh, by surprise <laughs> when you think you're taking your normal dose, but your body chemistry is now changed. And so it's going to feel different. All right, topicals. Now there are many different topicals that you can try. The topicals that you wear, such as a transdermal patch, those are meant to get you high. They're meant to give you a dose of THC, like a slow release overall, usually over about 24 to 72 hours. So th that dosing, you can go a little higher. Like you can get a 20 milligram patch and it will slowly release like a time release of the THC. I don't recommend these methods when you're first starting. I recommend trying different things to see how cannabis makes you feel, get used to that before trying something like a patch. Now, when it comes to all the other different kinds of topicals, they're not gonna get you high. Topicals work where you put them and they don't get into your bloodstream. The only places that you might wanna be a little bit careful is on your face because it's thinner skin in your neck. So some might get absorbed. And the other is lips. If you're wearing a really high THC kind of a lip balm, I mean, you're licking your lips, you'll get some THC that way. And the other is if you apply THC, like a cream that's on an open cut or something like that, that can, go, of course, get into your bloodstream. But for the most part, topicals, you really want to go with a high dose of CBD and THC because it has to get absorbed into your skin. And especially if you're using it in a bath. So in a bath, you want to find the highest amount you can get. The higher the dose, the better when it comes to topicals. Because as I said, topicals do not get you high. They're meant to work locally. So there's a lot of different topicals you can buy. Bath bombs, bath soaks, some salves, creams, all kinds of things. Even hair, even hair uh, shampoo and cream rinses and things like that. There's all different products you can use that are infused. But I would stay away from anything with a low dose of THC or, or CBD in these products because they're just not going to work. You're paying extra for this, you know, cannabinoids that are supposed to be in there, but there's not that much of them in there. And I'll give you, uh, for instance, if you're looking at a CBD bath bomb, you want to go with at least 100 milligrams of CBD, at least 50 milligrams of THC. But even, again, even that one higher, the higher, the better. It's, you know, dispersing through a huge bathtub. And so you have to think of it that way. So you want to have more of the cannabinoids in the bath water so that you're getting a more relaxed experience. And with topicals, it, they don't work right away. It takes a little while, like about 15 to 20 minutes or so. So if you're using something like an infused lube, 
you're going to want to put that on about 20 minutes before you start with intimacy so it gives it a chance to work but again if you're using cbd only topicals you don't have to worry about it getting inside your bloodstream it's not going to do anything just go for a high dose the higher the better all right so finally let's talk about dose layering this is my favorite thing uh, now this is when you're more comfortable using cannabis and you, you've tried it a few times, now you've got your dose. So there's a way to use a little bit of a higher dose. If you're using something like uh, edible, what I like to do, like 10 milligrams, as I said, can be a bit high for me. So what I'll do is I'll take five milligrams and then about two hours later, I'll take another five milligrams because eventually these two will meet, but they'll meet in a nice way. And so you're kind of drawing out your, your high over a longer period of time and you're able to get a little bit higher of a dose without it being too much at once. So you can take it as soon as an hour if you want to as well, because the two hour mark is usually where it really peaks for edibles. So I would take five milligrams and then as that's peaking, I take another five. So in two hours and that one's starting to wear off, then this one is kicking in and somewhere between there, they're nicely meeting. So that's a way you can kind of layer your doses, but also the best way that I use is I take an edible in the evening and then I will dry your vaporize on top of that. So that's a way of layering the doses as well. This allows me to have that continual feeling of relaxation without getting too high because I'm controlling things. So once you get comfortable using cannabis, you can layer things on top of each other. I like using you know, topicals with dry air vaporizing and an edible. I like using all the different methods. It really does help me with different problems that I have, different pain and relaxation and sleep and all of these things. The best thing you can do is just experiment and see what works for you. Okay, so I hope that helps you understand a little bit more about dose. I have a lot of guides on my website weedmama.ca, where you can go and learn more about cannabis and all the different methods and, and figure out what would work for you. Everybody's different. My dose is going to be completely different than your dose. I've, tr I've counseled people who were just trying cannabis after a long time and their starter dose was 40 milligrams. <laughs> and other people can't do more than two milligrams. So you never know where you're gonna be. I give you a safe place to start with, then you can go from there. Thank you so much for joining me. Do you hit the subscribe button because I'm gonna keep putting out videos about how to use cannabis to feel better.